Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So in the previous video, I shared that the 1850s Wing Chun's soul, the core, the secret of it is moving your ass. And uh, many of our Wing Chun friends asked me to elaborate more on what do I mean by moving your ass. So today I'm going to share with you what is moving your ass. This is actually really simple stuff. And if you really understand it and you start to do it, start today, it's going to change your life on the Wing Chun you practice. Okay, so before that, I want to share with you something fun. So my book, The uh, the Coding Wing Chun, was released last week, and many of our friends already have the book and read the book. Now, it turns out that many of our Wing Chun friends have an Apple Watch. So they starting to follow the decoding Wing Chun using their Apple Watch to check their heart rate. Where did they train in one type of zone? And checking their heart rate variability and checking their VO2 max. So many of our friends messaged me saying that it is very enjoyable. Now they can really know what do they train and be able to see the level of their fitness and be able to know what they need to improve. So everything is trackable. So they follow my book, The uh, Decoding Wing Chun, to check, oh, is it a chi nourishing training? Is it a fitness training? Is this a strengthening training? How good they can do their fitness and so forth, so forth, so forth. And so they told me it is really enjoyable and beneficial to their health because right now, they have the Apple Watch in the first place anyway, and they bought the watch is for their health, to check their fitness. And now, the Wing Chun they practice, they can see it in their Apple Watch. And there's one friend even told me it's like a video game. It's like playing the game. Sure, it is like their Pokemon game. You got this Pokemon, uh, you can go through different training to raise your level of the Pokemon, and so forth, so forth. Well, that is what it's supposed to be. You have to be feel enjoyable. It has to be beneficial to your daily life, to your health. Or else, what the heck do you want that to be? Romanticizing the past? Like I want to be like in the movie? It never get there, right? You, we can keep thinking about those movie stuff or stories or history. Well, what good is that? Compare with those of our friends today say, well, I have an Apple Watch and I know my VO2 max. I know my uh, heart rate variability. I know my training. And man, I need to cut down my training. Or some even say, well, Hendrik, how can I raise up to the uh, strengthening training? Well, I told most of our friends, read the book carefully. The entire picture is there. 
Okay, so I hope that you can see that it is a paradigm shift. Okay, it is 2023. You can set a goal and you can reach your goal. You can feel enjoy every day and you can track it with the real device, real tracker like the Apple Watch. Okay, now as for moving your ass, while well, moving your ass is the a very simple American way of saying what Chi Chi Guang say, no resist, no blocking. Okay, so we just use a really plain language so that everybody know move your ass. Now, so why move your ass? First, let us get into understand what are we really get into. Well, fighting. As we know from my past video, fighting have two zones. One is the zone of we can hit each other, we can strike each other. That is the dangerous zone. And there is the out ring zone. When you get into this dangerous zone, the blow can come from different distance. This distance, this distance, this angle, that angle, different angle, and different level from up down or strike down or going down to the ground. As soon as you get into this dangerous zone, this is real fighting. This is what you're going to expect. Since 460 years ago, when General Chi Chi Guang formulated this, and today you look at MMA match, isn't it that way? Now, so when you get into this range, what matter is your momentum? Okay, it is a martial art fighting combat is a momentum play. So momentum meaning your body weight multiplied by your speed. Okay, if you want to throw a blow, you want to use your body weight and the speed to do the blow, to the hit. Now, so all oh, this is nice, but if we cannot move our S, move it in from the out of range to the danger zone, from the danger zone out of the out of range or within the danger zone to dodge away, or when you get into the danger zone very close to your opponent, to be able to keep moving and cycle him or dodge away, there is nothing we can play. That's why the entire thing is one thing. Can we move our ass? Okay? So that's all. Yeah, nobody is going to stand there playing hand with you in statics, with your structure or whatever, your tucking tailbone, uh, mind power, whatever. In the reality, people is going to come at you from different angle, different distance, different level, isn't it? So unless we can move our ass, There's no way we can go strike others. There's no way we can uh, avoid to get hit by others. And there's no way we can play in this dangerous zone. Now, the ancient Shaolin, which is uh, Wing Chun 1850 based on, it's clearly stated that 
the most important of a short strike art like Wing Chun where fighting really close is the handling of your body. That is the most important. That's the main. And of course, handling your body, meaning your leg have to support that. But this is the main. Hand is the subordinate. So you need to be able to move. But then moving, our S is not as simple as we think. It is not about footwork. It is practically about how to move from S up to the body because this is the most heavy part of your body between here, the S and here and the shoulder. Now, like in my book, the decoding Wing Chun is clearly stated out that in order to move this, first you need to know how to breathe, how to handle the internal intra-abdominal pressure so that you can work with the muscle, the, the, the muscle, the, 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 the abdominal muscle and your back muscle so that you can have a stable core that you be able to move your ass without that breathing intra-abdominal pressure and bracing. There is no way one be able to move and play in the dangerous zone, in the fighting zone. Okay? So, so the entire thing is about moving our ass, move away, dodge away. That is the really, really bottom line. So the focus has to be move your ass. How good can you move your ass? And of course, in order to move one's ass, one needs to know how to breathe, handle the intra-abdominal pressure, and be able to brace, be able to use the abdominal muscle and the back muscle so that the entire body is solid, is stable, it's not like jello fish. Okay? Now you can think about that this S is like a basketball. If you're playing basketball, you want to carry the ball to run or you want to shoot the basketball. When you want to shoot in in a short strike art, it is true that you are using the reverse breathing, abdominal bracing, as I described in the decoding Wing Chun book, to shoot out. So this is like a basketball you shoot out. When you want to take blow, which is you have to sometimes, you are using the forward breathing abdominal bracing to take the blow. And you have all sorts of stuff which is needed, which is need to train just for moving the S. Okay? So that's why moving the S is the bottom line. It's not like uh, the after 1850s or the after 1870s uh, Wing Chun talk about Tan Bong Fok structure, triangle shape. It is not. It is a completely different thing. It is dynamic. It is a game of moving your ass. You want to engage, you dodge in, you throw another blow to take him down. You don't want to engage, you want for self-defense, you just move out. Now, if we do not know how to move our ass, what can we do? Standing there like a movie? Put your hand up there? Not to mention even raising up the hand and, or, or, or sinking or, or, or dropping, the, uh, pressing the hand 
or uh, uh, expand out the body, you need the breathing. As I explained in the uh, in the uh, decoding Wing Chun, even when you do fitness, you need to know that how the breathing synchronize with your body. You need to train that. So yes, it is very simple moving our S. But there are so many things inside there. And for sure, for sure, it never is clamping your stance there and uh, putting a structure, rising your anus and uh, straighten your spine and uh, put yourself in the center. It never is that. Okay. So again, this is fun. You can get one of this or you can get anything at home. You just move around. You just move around, dodge around, move in, move out. Well, that's the recycling momentum. You can go circling around. Look at all our friends in Jiu-Jitsu. Didn't they go to the ground or the Judo? go to the ground and roll, you need to roll because your uniqueness, specialized specialty is to fight here, to fight here, to get in. And what is this good for daily life? Just think about it. Have you ever go to the restroom like in the mall when the door is too small and somebody walk out right away why well, you need how to move away sometimes when we walk some place is slippery you need to be able to move carefully right so all this is applicable for daily life. The characteristics of the Chinese Kung Fu is that whatever the training is also applicable for daily life because nobody have time for fighting every day. This majority majority of people is ordinary people, not those who get paid mega dollar to uh, do fighting okay so this is what it is so the book decoding wing chun is also is actually bring whatever the reality into today so everybody be able to uh, to enjoy to improve themselves to know themselves to track what they do, even to move the ass, one know, oh, if I do this fast, my heart rate might get into the anaerobic zone and I might not want to do that first. Or when I try to move, right away my heart rate fly, then I say, okay, back up, back up, you need to go to the uh, fitness zone first or else you get the aerobic deficiency syndrome keeping training in the high heart rate and those 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 are not good those is not going to improve the performance is not good for health so this is what i like to share with you today it is year 2023 the reason for the book decoding wing chun exists is because we need to bring the art the practice for the benefits of uh, of health for the benefit of our body our uh, response in uh, in momentum handling and so forth to the real world so everybody can do it in a safe and trackable way which is based on today's sport science and medical science